All right, Shalom Rastafari, Shabbat Shalom, send that salam. This is our 21st uh, Sabbath, our uh, sabbatical Torah portion, reading and seeding. That's known as uh, Ki uh, Tissa, right? That's known as uh, Ki Tissa, which um, means when you take. Now, let's give you a little overview right here for those who are interested can do a little more study. This is going to be a short uh, segment, long segment coming up. If a long segment comes up and you're viewing this on Ethiopian World Net, the channel on the YouTubes, go to Rastafari Sabbatical, check the description, and see the longer, the longer segment coming up. Cool. We're going to do this as a short segment. Short segment now, long segment coming up. Let's just go over this. And um, this is by inspiration. And the first part, I apologize if it, I, I, so many things were coming in at one time. It's like I was seeing two or three different things, and I was trying to line it up so that first I was trying to see it for myself while I was recording it. Um, I was just planning on doing the Torah portion, you know, going over the basics, but we're living in a time of revelation, Rastafari revelation and prophecy. So um, this is why sometimes the prophets were a little erratical. The prophets were a little, you know, they were not your so-called normal people because the normal people or sheeple are basically blind to the fact. You're blind to the fact, baby. You're blind to the fact. They're blind to these facts. Right? And it's hopeful that you do not be blind to these facts as well. So if you're viewing this particular vid, and if you're a subscriber to Ethiopian World Net, then also become a subscriber to um, Rastafari Sabbatical, and you can check the description for the longer segments, because our longer uh, lectures and videos and teachings and preachings, um, we're not able to upload at Ethiopian World Net due to the controversy that certain trolls and certain, um, um, I say loosely people, right, because we know that there are angels and demons out there. The angels are protecting us, the holy angels, but the demons and the demoniacs, you know, they don't, they don't like the truth. The truth is an offense to them. Right? The truth is an offense to them, and no doubt some will find this to be offensive as well. Right? The fact that, that Obama is black America's uh, golden calf. He might actually be America's golden calf and the world's golden calf, but definitely for the so-called Negroes, the so-called black people, the Hebrews, right? the lost sheep of the Beta Israel. But we're living in a prophetic window of time right now. So it's, it's, it's not, it's not um, out of the prophetic timetable that we would not have an Obama, an Obama, right? Now, folks, you, you, you know, you, you could get offended all you want, right? Because, you know, we're on the front lines right here, right? And most folks will just keep this to themselves, but that's why Jah can't use you, right? And that's why you're, you're, you're good for nothing to Jah. Don't be a good for nothing to Jah. Study, show, and prove, right? And, and grow in grace. The main thing is grow in the grace of the King of Kings and his Christ, our true black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. And do not accept, you know, these Babylonian substitutes and unfortunately it is what it is and so when we caught this particular picture here actually it was as we said earlier we was watching a, um uh episode of divorce court right and this particular episode of divorce court which is very it was very interesting even though we are not into that grudge the grudge toilet or i mean judge toiler you understand we're not into into her but she's she is also um kind of a product right, a product of prophecy. You know, there are products of prophecy, right? True, they have free will to make their own decisions, but those of us who approach this life and reality in the word of God in Christ, the living word, right, that might be an offense, but it's not a sin, right? It might be an offense to some who, 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 who prefer to remain in ignorance, and they will prefer that you remain as well in ignorance, 
Now, we've gone over this Torah portion before, and if you check our previous Torah portions on Ki Tissa, which is, I think, the 21st uh, Sabbath portion, we were speaking about black people. In fact, we did a video, a couple of videos, I think, before even Obama was um, elected. I think it was back in 07 or so. And we was touching on the golden calf and the bling bling and how there's like a kind of a connection with how the, the bling bling and the golden calf and, and we're, um, we're this people, right? We're this lost sheeple. Um, are at and what we have gone through in this 40 years of wandering through the wilderness. And also, um, please check out blackgenocide.org, right? Black Genocide, Reverend um, Childress, um, his site, and also the video Ma'afa, right? Ma'afa. And as we look into this Exodus Torah portion, as Bob Marley said, Exodus, the movement of John's people, right? But some of the people prefer to remain in spiritual Egypt, right, to remain in spiritual Egypt. Now, this Torah portion, right, Ki Tissa, we have in Shemot. Uh, let's bring this up right here. We're going to touch on that, um, that Jamie Foxx, the Jamie Foxx blasphemy as well. We'll touch on the Jamie Foxx uh, blasphemy as well. But let's just move forward through this in this uh in this uh, short segment and uh, long segment coming up. So if you want to check the long segment out, then check us out at, um, we're going to broadcast it at Rastafari um, Sabbatical, right? Rastafari Sabbatical. So this particular Torah portion right here is Ki Tissa. And Ki Tissa, or ba the Amarinya, in the Metzaf Kedus and the Gusen and Gess in the Amharic Bible is called Begwetar Hacho Gize, and it's translated as meaning when you take, it's the sixth and seventh words and the first distinctive words in this portion, the 21st uh, weekly Torah portion or Parsha in our Judaic cycle of Torah reading and feedings. And it's the ninth, this is the ninth um, portion in this book, the book of Exodus, the movement of Jah's people. Now, it constitutes Exodus chapter 30, verses 11, to Exodus chapter 34, verses 35. Now, we as black Jews, as Ethiopian Hebrews, and as elect Aras Tefari in my father's house, in my Abba's house, there are many mansions. In my Abba's bait, there are many menorahs, many dwelling places. We in the diaspora, in the Americas, the Caribbean, so far from the promised land and from home, we read this in the 21st Sabbath after the high holy day known as the Simchat Torah, right? And generally, it would be in February, late February, or in um, early or perhaps mid-March, March in, 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 a general, in a general sense right there. Okay, we're just checking this out right here. Okay, so this is the 21st Torah portion. Now, there's some more additional information, and if you go on the Internet, and you can check this out here, Key Tissa, right, Key Tissa right here, or you can go to um, Lion of Judah Society info, and you can download... Um, the digital of this right here. I'll show you this right here. The digital of this right here. Moving out right here. All right. Shimmold. All right. Shimmold. Yeah. You can download that, or you can also um, you can purchase a copy, a hard copy. All right. This is what we're reading from right here. But you can download it for free as a PDF and use it on your your preferred uh, device at lionofjudahsociety.info. All right? So let's go, let's go forward. All right, so this right here, this is Key Tissa. So some of the information is also contained here. This was updated as well. And you can see this is a watercolor by James uh, Tissot. Actually, we're using that in the background over here, all right? And superimposed with a painting. 
um, based on the picture where they were praying either on or praying for. But when we compare this with the, the James Tissot picture and this actual picture of um, Obama, right, or this is a painting of the picture. We've seen the picture. You can see the picture as well. It, it, it just connects so much with this golden calf. And then the, the Rai, then it's like I, I saw it, you know, that Obama, Obama, he is the lost sheep's, right, the lost sheeple's golden calf, right? The, he's the lost sheeple or black people, you can say. He's um, your golden calf, not, not our golden calf, because, you know, we bun, we, we bun it, we done it, right? Um, and then we mentioned in the previous portion, and we'll try to do a, a teaching on that in itself, what Jamie Foxx, the blasphemy, the blasphemy, the Fox blasphemy, where he said, um, lift your hands up for our Lord and Savior, Barack Hussein Obama, or Barack Obama, Robert Ryan. You know, some folks took it as a particular joke, you understand? But Jah is not mocked. You know, what sort of a man so, so shall he reap. Now, he can either sow spiritually in, in spirit and in truth, or he can worship, right, the golden calf, right? Worship the golden calf. Now, for us, that golden calf, but there's a possibility perhaps on a larger level, the abomination that causes desolation. So we have this particular golden calf prophecy well, not, it's not a prophecy, but this, in, this is teaching. But for us, based on the prophecy that we would come into Egypt by way of ships. So we are the only people who um, were brought to America forcibly, right? And we didn't come here as immigrants, the so-called um, Negroes, black people, right? The Hebrews, we didn't come over here immigrating. Some blacks did from other parts like Africa and, and, and other places. Good for them. But we're speaking of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We're speaking of Jah's people and we're reading and studying of the Exodus, right? Because if we don't, you know, he who knows the past, right? He who knows the past controls the future, right? Um, so it, it's so important that we know our past, right? We, we, that, that, that we know our history, right? Our true history. This is the history they suppress from us because were it to be even, even, even in the churches, most of the churches, especially the black churches, you know, um, this is not taught, right? Because even they themselves are figured in this Torah portion. Right? They themselves are figured in this Torah portion. We're going to have Korah. We're going to have those who rebelled against Moses, so forth and so on. So Jamie Foxx, he says what he says, and then we found this particular um, in uh, Song of Songs, right? Song of Songs, chapter 2, verse 15. Abboalana. Yeah, abotaya Take us, the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. Now, what does this verse right here mean to us? This, this, is, this is from Song of Songs right here. Right? What does this particular verse mean, and how does this connect with the blasphemy of Jamie Foxx, right? what he said? Right? He said, Barack Obama, our Lord and Savior. Now, when we study, and we're going to get into this in the long portion, this particular Torah portion, Ki Tissa. When we get into Ki Tissa, this will become very, very much more clear, not just to you, but also to me. Right? I, 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 I've approached this particular Torah portion with certain basic knowledge and ideas, but in the preparation to record it, just before recording it, it's like a... A, a, a flood of revelation was really shown concerning this. This is why this pouring to pass over, this window that we're in, is very, very important. And brothers and sisters, check, us, check out um, lojsociety.org and, and, and get the H4C uh, Passover Seder 
right? Because Passover is coming up, right? Um, March uh, 25th to April 2nd is a very, very important time. Exodus, the movement of Jah people. Shabbat Shalom, Senbet Salam. This is your brother. This is Yadin. This is Wendem Yadin reporting for the Line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. Longer segment coming up broadcasting on Rastafari sabbatical. So check it out there. Shalom.